Tonight we honor Black History Month by recognizing one of Western New York's most important roles in American history. Ed Riley brings us the untold stories of how the Underground Railroad ran through Niagara County helping people escape slavery. And in fact, many people hadn't even heard of any of these stories because they had been uh, lost to history and buried throughout time. It is 1850s America and you're running for your life. Bounty hunters are on your tail and you are praying you can get to Niagara Falls to cross the border for freedom in Canada. Just imagine being in bondage your entire life um, and then finally working up the courage to escape. The Niagara Falls Underground Railroad Heritage Center opened in 2018. Its goal is to inform and educate the public about the big role in Niagara County residents played in helping individuals escape slavery and its dehumanizing effects. The first thing you learn here is the special use of terms. We refer to the people who were enslaved as freedom seekers. Instead of calling people slave owners, we refer to them as enslavers. The center is a reproduction of the Cataract House. It was located by what is now the Red Coach Inn. Black waiters who worked here were actually secret agents for the Underground Railroad, ready to help enslaved individuals get across the border when they were brought with their enslavers to see Niagara Falls. John Morrison, he was the head waiter here at the Cataract House, and he actually rode freedom seekers personally across the Niagara River. There is also a recreation of the Niagara Falls Suspension Bridge, which was a path to freedom. Before it existed, many died trying to swim across the gorge. Many didn't make it except for one, which is Oliver Purnell. While there are displays showing how much local residents hated slavery. A petition signed by residents of Niagara County that was an anti-slavery petition. There is also the darker side. Fugitive Slave Act was signed by Buffalo's own Millard Fillmore in 1850. The Fugitive Slave Act imposed harsher punishments for interfering in the capture of runaway slaves. There are times where bounty hunters are just pretty much hanging around the suspension bridge. Trying to cross the bridge could be scary because bounty hunters were paid good money. $200 then in today's economy is $6,000. So the Heritage Center here is really like no other place in, in Western New York and, and really around the world. The Heritage Center hopes the lessons of the Underground Railroad inspires all who visit to remember the role everyone plays in standing up for freedom. Be that one person. Even if you're petrified, speak up and say, this is wrong, this is, this is unmoral, this is, uh, this is unethical, this is inhumane. From now through March, schools in Niagara County can book free field trips here at the Heritage Center to learn more about the Underground Railroad thanks to a grant from M&T Bank. In Niagara Falls, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.